Well, Anders Asland is an adjunct professor at Georgetown University, specialising in economic policy in Russia, Ukraine and Eastern Europe. He's also served as an economic advisor to the governments of Russia and Ukraine. He joins us now live from Washington, D.C. Uh, first of all, let's look at this latest decree. What are the implications for companies still operating in Russia now then? How serious could this be? Well, I think it's quite uh, serious, but you can also say that it's uh, almost ine inevitable. Uh, most of the foreign companies in Russia are still there. Uh, it's six or seven percent of the companies that have actually been able uh, to withdraw. Most have reduced their activities, uh, which is not in Russia's interest, and they're not going to invest. Uh, and uh, what can Russia do with them? It's naturally in a war that you uh, uh, nationalize the companies uh, that belong to more or less uh, hostile countries. But could this backfire on Putin now, merely driving more companies away for good or certainly changing their strategic plans? Sure. But uh, these companies, uh, by and large, want to withdraw in any case. Uh, so Russia uh, has, uh, uh, to a considerable extent, withdrawn from the, the global economy, although the, the Russian economy is declining only slowly. Looking at this Black Sea grain deal now, how disruptive could this be if Russia now reneges on the deal? I don't think that it will be that disruptive now because uh, the uh, global food market is uh, much more uh, f full of uh, commodities than it was, uh, uh, say, nine months ago. So uh, it is not uh, such a bad situation for the global uh, food situation. It's bad for Ukraine. So I think that Putin thinks that uh, he can uh, cause an additional blow to, uh, to Ukraine by uh, cutting off uh, uh, the grain supply. Are these all signs of frustration from Putin? Well, you can say that it's a sign that uh, he feels that he's uh, weak uh, and uh, he feels that he wants uh, to do something. But inevitably, he knows that this will hurt Ukraine if he does pull out of this deal. Well, he wants to hurt uh, Ukraine, but it uh, will also hurt uh, Russia's uh, uh, shipping of uh, substantial amounts of uh, grain over uh, the, the Black Sea. So do you think this is mainly just tough talk from Putin? He won't necessarily go ahead with these moves or they're just, they're just talk right now? No, I think that he uh, is likely to, or it's difficult to say he can do uh, either thing, but uh, he's fully prepared uh, to uh, uh, cut off uh, the uh, grain supplies from both uh, Russia and Ukraine over uh, the Black Sea, uh, given that uh, the, the grain prices are not so high now. So Russia is not losing that much by not uh, delivering uh, grain as it was uh, uh, last year. And of course, Putin does whatever he can to, to hurt uh, uh, Ukraine, bombing uh, uh, hospitals and museums, as uh, we just uh, heard. So this is a war on everything that is uh, Ukrainian, including uh, culture and hospitals. OK, Anders Aslan, the adjunct professor at Georgetown University. Thank you very much for joining us live from Washington, D.C.